new map, new affinity combinations, new bosses, new gear. If all of this is looking good, stay there, that's what I'm gonna talk about. Hello guys, Wilson Brox here and I'm happy to bring you some news about the new season coming. On this season we expect to have new Wizland sandbox and seasonal storylines, enhanced exploration mechanics and local quest challenges and 3 new damage types and elemental affinity combinations. Let's have a better look at this. So down here they are talking about that we are gonna be able to summon a legendary hero every 10 draws. But this is not completely true, this is related with the tickets we are going to get on the season rewards on the end of this season and let's have a look. So guys if you check here on the rewards you're gonna get depending on which rank you, you have you're gonna have different tickets alright so there's the these ones the blue, purple and gold. The difference between them is that the blue ones they don't have any chance to summon the new heroes the purple one, they have a little bit of chance to summon the newer heroes and the yellow, they have a big chance to summon the new heroes. And if you guys have a look here, it says here that if you fail to summon a legendary hero in 9 summons, the 10 summon guarantees a legendary hero. So you are sure that in 20 summons you're gonna have at least 2 legendary heroes and depending on which tickets you have a bigger chance or a lower chance to get one of the new heroes. So guys, don't trust on this. You can have these legendary heroes, that's right, on every 10 draws, but with those tickets. It's 20 tickets, after the 20 tickets, no more legendary hero every 10 summons, guys. Pay attention to this, okay? Don't keep using all your LA light dices and trying to summon more legendaries, because it's 20 tickets, a minimum of two legendary heroes, maybe you are lucky you'll get more, but after those tickets, the chance to have a legendary every 10 summons finished. Alright? So then we have the Blazing War Horse, so the first 150 will have this amazing Blazing War Horse. It's a mount. I don't know if the people that is gonna get this War Horse will be able to walk faster or not. It's something that we'll need to have a look when this new season starts, uh, looks pretty awesome guys, I must say, it looks really pretty awesome. We have a new Ants exploration mechanics, where you're gonna able to explore o Ocean's mysteries, new local quest challenges, and new stuff to do. We're gonna have this Dusky Tower fraction device, objects and proje projections in Silvery Tower, that looks really nice. We have a new adventure, a new story, which is really nice. So it says explore the elves past the two towers Christ and the secret of Outland's silent gods, uncover the deep mysteries of Adentia. So we're gonna have probably a new storyline to explore and a new storyline to discover. So we're gonna have ships as they already spoiled about this before. So we're gonna have maritime navigation and undersea exploration with, which is really nice guys. It's some new stuff and this is really good having new stuff, new season, it makes everyone anxious to start playing this right away. We also have a new partner from the depths, so we're gonna have a new race uh, this time, it's called the Mermaid, this is some of the new characters that we're going to find. We're gonna have new bosses, so you know with new bosses, new strategies, new, new lineups that we need to use to defeat these bosses, they look really nice, this guy looks <laughs> huge. This one looks like a crab, I don't know if it's the same one, maybe not, I'm not sure, but it looks like a, a kind of mechanic crab. And then we have the new 3 damage types. So the new combination will be Fire Necrosis, Ice and Radiance and Lightning and Poison. So with new affinity combinations, new lineups that we can create, we can mix again all our heroes, we have Lightning, we can mix with poison, do new combinations, new stuff, now we have the radiance with ice, fire with necrotic, I mean there's a huge possibility of, of things we can do with this and there are also three new damage types. Burn, uh, at the moment the burn was only able to find on the fire boss, now we have burn, we heroes with burn, we have the thunderbolt, I'm not sure what it will be, and ice blasts. Uh, probably will be like an explosion with ice. 
we're gonna have some new gear and new artifacts. All of this looks pretty nice. And now let's have a look in our game because, because there's a ticket with some new information, guys. If you check here, if you check here, there's new stuff about the season 2 that is coming soon. And firstly, as you can see, they are telling us that some of the servers they will be merged and all the players that will be transferred to a new servers and they tell us here where we're gonna be moved depending on which server we are for example this one close of chaos of clepsydra and fontaine interplanar 5 will be moved to the new server in crescent one so as you can see they are merging some of the servers together maybe because some of these servers they've they were created at at the beginning and now they have a lower population some inactive players so this is a good thing from one way because this way they will make sure that will be more active players and less players that were inactive and this will improve our gaming experience and more activity on our alliance and also on the world events that we need to play together like this water world that to get all the 100% on every path, we need everyone on the server working from the same objective and with this we make sure that this is gonna happen. Alright, so this is all about that, check which server you're gonna be moved, I think, so I'm on Chaos Clapsider 2, I'll be moved to X Accrescent 2 and I'll be moved with Chaos Clapsider 7 as well. Alright, then as they say here, uh, as the servers will be merged, the social connection experience of core gameplay such as will be improved, as I said. So that's really good. And also, everyone is worried about whales, okay? So maybe some of us will be mixed with some other whales from another servers. And because of that, the creators of this game are aware of this. And with this, they'll can increase the rewards from 151 to 300. So this way, they will make sure that everyone will be rewarded for their effort and not just like whales who are paying loads of money to get only legendaries and this way will be more fair for everyone. They also say that the server location is based on each server's player activity and strength so with this they will try to make a balance between players that they're gonna merge to the same server so I hope they'll do a great job with this and that the new servers will be balanced. On here they're all talking about the new region so the new region will be known as the Misty Sea uh, where the travels may cruise across the Misty Sea, it's, it's the ocean we already talked about this, a brand new story, Fall of Increscent, the Silver East Tower and Dusky Tower stand direct on the land of Hunter constructed by Shin Alpha Sessors. So it's a story based on elves, alright? Looks really nice. Some new heroes, we are going to have 30 new heroes, which of them 17 will be legendary heroes, which is really amazing. Three schools of damage dealing. The, the burn, turnabout and ice blast. They explain how these things work. So the burn, it's a AOE damage. And they will deal periodical damage to surrounding units. The thunderbolt, it's also an AOD damage. And same thing as the other one. Ice blast, it's a, a single target. This one is a, a specializing in single target attack. And they, they possess a special skill resource, ice crystal. When they cast battle skills, one sacrifice crystal will be consumed to refresh the cooldown of their battle skills. Alright, this looks pretty nice. Then you have new equipment sets. The inventor's inspiration, each time a battle skill or ultimate skill is cast, the wearer obtains one stack of damage bonus. There is a upper limit to duration, the stack number. This is huge. This is huge. Heavy cell curse, the indirect damage deal by wearers, ignores a certain percentage of defense. Emperor's Might, the wearer, the wearer deals increased damage based on the difference value between the wearer's attack and the target's attack. The maximum damage bonus is 50%. Alright, we have also Cyril's Whisper and Moon Alice's Blessing. So we have a lot. I'm not going to read everything, guys. You can have a look at this while I'm showing here. This looks amazing. All of these new sets that we can use and create new strategies. We also have new artifacts, so 14 new artifacts, 3 exclusive artifacts, 9 legendary artifacts and 2 epic artifacts. I don't really agree with this. So 
9 legendary artifacts. I've been grinding a lot and I know I don't have a single legendary artifact. I already talked about this uh, with other creators that I don't really agree with so much legendary artifacts because like most of the players they don't have a single legendary artifact and we're gonna have like a lot of epic artifacts on max level at 20 and not a single uh, legendary artifact and sometimes I feel like I have that slot with legendary artifacts for nothing because I'm not gonna I'm not going to get any of those legendaries I hope they change this and they create some way that we can get that legendary artifacts as well without the need to summon a copy of a legendary hero which doesn't make any sense so I hope they improve this we're gonna have a new monster, a new fame mender boss, whose skills inflict stackable and unstable spider down that decrease the healing amount to certain probability. And Mecha Torque, a new water world exploration boss, so nice. A giant robot whose skills grant itself stackable and dispellable over it that predicts deals damage to all enemies. So this is really good, this would be probably the boss on, the, on those images we were seeing before. And then all 8 dungeon bosses will be upgraded. New skills, new mechanics, this is really nice. So we need new strategies with this. A new event as well, Fort Firing Summons, a season settlement exclusive summons pool divided into 3 categories based on the settlement rankings of the travelers. Okay, oh yeah, so this is the, the summon tickets. So depending on which summon tickets you have, you will have a bigger chance or lower chance to summon the new heroes, the new 30 euros, and they will also have the Odyssey future summons an exclusive new hero summons pool time limited to the first 10 days of season 2 only heroes newly added to season 2 are available this, in this event so on this if you want you can just spam those LL light dices and get some of the new heroes then we have the also the elemental affinity rotation we already talked about this we have some optimizations they are adding new quests, yes, yeah, so this is all all other stuff, all other optimizations they are setting. So all these updates are, I think they look amazing, everything looks great, I think they are doing a great job. I think some of these things, they could be improved, like the artifacts, I still don't understand so, so much legendary artifacts and probably like 90% or more of these players, they don't have a single one. I don't have a single one. I have a good rank on this uh, on my server and then I don't have a single legendary artifact I don't even know what is that I don't know how strong they are but well let's see if they change it and if they create a way that we can like farm that or maybe they could add it to like the main main fender or some of those art dungeons or stuff like that I hope they create a way for that and they keep improving this game because this game looks awesome. I think it's going on a good way. I know some people they don't really like about having seasons and resets, but we'll see how the players react to this reset and this new season. And I'll be here with more updates, more guides, more gameplay and more content about this amazing game, Dragon Air Silent Gods, guys. So. I hope you liked this video, if you liked it don't forget to press that like button, subscribe to my channel to follow my content like this, thanks for watching and see you next time guys.